Hi, this is Collector A. Today, I would like to teach you a method on how to price a collectible that you own. As usual, uh, when you get a get a make a collectible on your new drops, the first thing you will choose is maybe like look through the floor and see what price it is. But if you hit a really nice mint number, how should you price it? That is one of the most uh, advanced technique uh, you can see around because it's hard to dem uh, hard to actually determine a price. Uh, especially when you see mint numbers like uh, a sub 100, a sub 150, a perfect mint, a letter, and so on. It's really hard to actually determine a price. But the first thing you have to understand and know is that why would people like to pay premium for a certain mint number? Okay, uh, I would like to uh, say several examples just to let you know how significant mint numbers are to different people. Like for celebrities, like for Justin Bieber, for instance, he actually bought a board ape just because the mint number was his birthday for approximately like 1 million US dollars. Okay, and like around the world, you could see a lot of different card plates, okay, number, which uh, usually people like to flex around. They like to choose like, uh, car plates like uh, straight zero 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 one or like uh, one 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 a uh, solid numbers perfect mints one two three four eight 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 uh, there are a lot of different examples okay but why do they choose to buy it and why do they choose to pay a premium for it is basically because they want to flex okay in terms usually flex you can only do it like in two ways the first way you can do it is by buying a quantity like if you buy 100 200 500 a thousand of the same item and then you can flex around okay on the other hand the most significant way is to flex is by buying a really special mint number so that is also why people like to stack especially for low mints on vv Okay, uh, first thing you have to understand is that like for Vivi, a lot of collectibles, approximately, uh, maybe like uh, after season two, the smallest numbers, like for example, for collectibles, is like 41. You can't get a mint number lower than 41 on public, but doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. No. Okay, uh, you can see around that people like price a uh, low mint for a lot of price, uh, for a very high price, especially like 41, 42, 43, or sub 100. But please do uh, understand one thing, like um, this artist here actually made a really great example because she was the first artist to actually uh, sell one of the collectibles or several collectibles that she received from Vivi because of designing, okay? From here, you can see that uh, she actually listed one, I think listed three, right? Okay, three collectibles for auction, which is under her own name of her series and then you can see clearly that uh, like for the example what we just use it right now is like 56 okay it's a sub 100 which is a good okay for uh, like 666 edition collectibles and it's priced at around four thousand dollars right now and it hasn't end yet okay but what i want to mention here very clearly is that uh, people especially the like whales or og put a lot of money on low mints they play maybe like 50 times, 100 times floor for just a very small mint number. Like for Todd, for Walt Disney and stuff. But please be aware that there is always a chance that some collectibles, lower numbers like 40, 39, 38, 37 might appear in the market, okay? Uh, when it does, the problem is that uh, like for certain collectibles, you can see that um, there will be cert certainly an effect on the prices of 41s if 140 appears in the market. So that is why I think that buying low mints is might not be the best way right now, especially when you know that they could actually sell their own collectibles. Uh, so that is also why that like for in this case or maybe like uh, this two weeks, people have been actually stacking different numbers. Like for perfect mints, for example, what I mean perfect mints are like, uh, you can go for an example here, search around. Okay. And then here you can actually find uh, several like different mint numbers and how they are priced it. Like for Wonder Woman right now. Okay, you can go and then maybe like, uh, I think addition number will do. Okay. 
you can go around and search and then you could find that like for the 41s is listed as 70k okay and 100k 100k okay 110k okay 1 million okay you can see lots and lots of different prices right for low mints because low mints are really hard to determine but definitely it works more than floor price okay usually uh, for like sub 100 you can see like a two to four or five times if it's not a very co uh, popular collectible if it's a very popular collectible it might go even higher uh, especially for the sub 50s it can go to a really 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 high price or like 41s okay so this you have to be very um familiar with the pricing and like some people already you can notice like for whales they stack like for 88 uh, 168 okay 111 and something like that okay you can see around and then you can serve around but what i want to mention here is that apart from these low mids okay people have actually been stacking um other collectibles right now yep for example like for perfect min what i said is like the 1111s okay the 9999s okay these are the min numbers which is uh some of the whales are actually stacking right now and it's not really that expensive okay not everybody priced it and like for this example like for shatter z for example okay talk to him like uh once or twice you can see that he likes to stack numbers like um perfect mints uh numbers like ten thousand one thousand okay and sometimes you can see ladders okay oh sorry the screen isn't good okay uh, I'll do it one more time, okay? Like for Scatter said, okay, you can see from his collection, uh, one of the OGs here, uh, they, he has been stacking numbers like 9999 to perfect mints, 10,000, okay, 8765, like ladders, like what do we say, like a 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, or like reverse ladders, like 5, 4, 3, 2, something like that, okay? People like to stack those numbers as well. And uh, the last one that people like to stack are ears, okay? Maybe like, like 2002, 2021, okay? Sometimes people stack because it might um, it might be someone's birthday. It might be some a date that was really memorizable for like certain people, okay? Maybe like anniversary dates uh, or maybe it is the artist's uh, birth date, okay? A birth year I mean okay or maybe like uh, there are loads of loads of different reasons for years so people like stacking years okay to see if somebody like uh, for example somebody like to stack like 2000 the year 2000 and then he will keep on stacking 2000 okay that's also a way that you can actually learn from but why am I mentioning this because um you have to understand really important like uh, even for like Wonder Woman like FA for example right now you can see that uh, the mint number, the addition size isn't that large. Like for uh, Wonder Woman, for example, is only like uh, less than 10,000. Okay. But the problem is that uh, there is still 10,000 available. So even if I am a really rich person or celebrity or a social figure, I enter the app and then I would like make a decision and like maybe like buy a load. Okay. Buy a bag of it. Or I will choose another method, with, which is uh, I will buy some significant numbers that I really like. Okay, you have to understand a really important thing is that not all whales buy to sell. Okay, some whales just buy to collect. So in our app right now on BV, you can see that there are collectors, there are investors, there are people who do both. Okay, it doesn't really matter. To me, I think the more people, the better. Okay, so I don't really care which kind of person you are. But if you're doing like for investing in sometimes, that is why I think this is a really good time to actually stack those numbers. And honestly speaking, not all those numbers are really like expensive. And mainly, uh, I think a lot of them are still affordable right now. Like for example, like you can go through, I don't know, like maybe, let me have a search around. Okay, like for example, like Supergirl, okay, if you really want to buy a low mint right now, I don't think it's that expensive. Like the floor right now, you see uh, is around 280 and 290, for example. And the price right now, if I really want to buy a good mint number, let me see, like a low mint, for example, how much would I need? It's not exactly that expensive, okay? You can see that you can buy at like 4K, 5K, or even 2K, you can buy at 50, okay? 
that's really affordable. Like uh, in the past, like for season one and season two collectibles, if you really want to buy something like 41 or 42, you have to pay a lot for them. Okay, so this is a little bit different right now. But what I really want to tell you is that um, people are actually, especially they are stacking numbers. Like uh, why is there a difference? Because like I have already mentioned before, like 41, there is the existence of 40, 9, 39, 38, 37, 36. You can't keep on buying. So that is also why some people like to buy some other numbers, which they are positive and 100% sure that they there is only one. Like, for example, like they buy like uh, 55, 88, 333, 444, okay? 666, 777, okay? These numbers, why is it so significant? Is that you can actually count how many are there. Like, for example, like uh, you can choose for like uh, Mr. Cartoon, okay? His cat, okay? You can see like uh, for a mint of like 888, you can just count, okay? If I really want to like collect perfect mints, the existence is only like one 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 two 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 three two three four 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 five 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 six 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 seven seven. Like you can count how many numbers are there. But if you buy low mints, it's hard to determine whether it will appear and affect your price. Even if you have already bought the lowest number you can find in public, because uh, the sellers, uh, the artists, or Vivi themselves can sell, can do a giveaway. And they actually have done this before, like uh, for compensation. Like uh, somebody have actually mentioned that they got a very low mint number result because of like compensation and so on. So that is also a reason why I don't think that putting a lot of money on low mints will be the best solution, uh, the best method right now. Maybe you can choose other methods or other numbers, like for example, like one, two, three, four, okay, or some representative numbers. Like uh, on my Instagram, I have already mentioned that some numbers uh, they go for a really uh, high price because of different cultures. Like for example, for like one six uh, one six eight, okay, it means like good fortune in Chinese. So you can see that some people are stacking on those numbers or like five to zero okay somebody said that it means love okay in in china i think okay and like four 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 uh seven 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 for lucky fortune something like that okay you can see all those numbers around so i think that at this case where you can see that there's always gem squeeze and it's really hard to determine what is the bottom of the collectibles right now because everybody is like when Pokemon, when Pokemon, but we are sure that Pokemon would not happen, especially when Immutable X is not even established good right now for the platform and we don't have the cash out, okay? Option, right? Okay? So I don't think Pokemon will come fast, okay? that That's my, my, my thinking right now. But uh, during Gem Squeeze, you still have to make profits. You still have to like earn your gems to buy something you really like. So that is an option I want to give you right now. So uh, if you like to watch more about uh, techniques, about how you flip, how you make money, how you collect, uh, what whales are doing, or what the market is doing, why is there a gem squeeze, or how to get new drops, something like that, please subscribe my channel, okay? Um, I will do my best to like give more useful information to you and I will be more active on Discord. So please make sure you add Discord as well. And if you want me to like uh, make a video on some of the techniques or learn, okay, or whatever you like, okay, just ring me on Discord and then I will try my best to do so. And for one more thing is that if you really are willing, okay, or you are really finding some escort service or something like that, okay, I can help you with that as well, okay. But please make sure I only do trades because there are illegit gems around. So doing trades, I can facilitate. But for gem, gem transaction, okay, I won't do that, okay, because I don't want some accounts to be banded because of doing it, okay? So that's all for now, okay? Please give me a like, share with your friends, and I hope that you can earn more to buy what you like or to earn more money, okay? It really depends on what you are, okay? And that's for now, okay? And see you next time.